Hey, what I'm going to talk about, and I really hope, you know, that you're going to get this, because once you get this, there is no stopping you, literally. So, I always teach my, my uh, souls that I'm working with, you know, that every single thing is the opportunity, you know, and uh, there is absolutely not a bad thing that ever happened to you, and whatever happened to you, it was meant to, ha to, uh, uh, to happen to you, and if you... If you adopt that point of view and if you really uh, uh, start living that way and using every single opportunity that comes into your life because things that are in your life, they are here for a reason. You know, there is no accident in the, in the creation. There is no accident in what we get, you know, but it's, you know, the sad thing is, you know, that all this teaching, teaching has been taken away from us and you've been teaching something totally different, you know, but we are all coming back now to our spiritual development and you are getting to remember and all the only thing that, that can help you now to really guide you to this transition is like, do you resonate with this information, you know, like, don't ask your mind, don't, don't ask your mother, don't ask your neighbor, don't ask fucking anyone, but you know, do I resonate with this information? Because like when you resonate, when something comes into your field, into this bubble that you live in, you're like the whole field, it resonates, it, 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 it literally resonates. And when I see that the, this uh, golden light, it, it literally, you know, uh, uh, put the waves in, you know, when something isn't true, you feel this pull, you feel this string, you feel, you know, like, you know, but mind goes over and saying, yeah, but yeah, yeah, that's right, that's right, that's right, yeah, it makes sense, yeah. Then you go back, you know, and your analytical mind goes and finds all the reasons to support this as a truth. Where, really, uh, in this time of information, the way how they temper with you is through disinformation. And... Uh, Half-truths are more dangerous than a lie, you know, and this is why at this stage on your path, the only person that you can actually uh, trust in is you, your heart, you know, your field and you going and how you are, how you're dancing with the other energies and how information comes and this and that, you can only discern by your own heart and your own resonance when something comes in and you say, ah, oh, yo, this is so good, you know, because it resonates. Resonates, this is this act that you are in and it resonates. I literally feel that. And remember, when something is not true, when something is, uh, is when, you, when you feel fear, you feel this inside of you. That's telling you exactly that is not true and it's not your truth and you can let it go. Like you don't have to take this inside. So... The, the thing that everything is, you know, okay, so everything in life, you know, how your life is going to turn to be, it's how your perspective is and how and what's your attitude towards life. You know, these two things are going to totally determine your experience, which is not so important, but your existence, which is all the important and why you even come here to the hardest school in the cosmos, which is earth, you know, where we all have to go through hell and to do all these things and it's painful and it's confusing and it's, but it's interesting. And if I am something, I am, you know, like I'm in love with life and I, guys, I really had it hard all my life and I come up, I come out on the other end and if there is a coin, like there is two sides, I've been on both of them literally in everything. And this is why I feel, you know, I, it's my place to say, you know, because every single thing I've been on the far end there and far right here, you know, literally in everything. I master myself. I master my feel. I master my energy. I master my mind, you know, which is doing all the trouble, you know, which is thinking that smart, which is, you know, holding on for uh, whatever, from some title or whatever, you know. So, the ego self. So, 
everything is opportunity. Literally everything is opportunity. And when you see this, when you really get to see this, then there is no, there is not going to be a bad thing for you happening. Like literally never. Uh, I've been to some really, uh, really, really hard time. And, uh, you know, that some people would never go out of the, those things, you know, but I have. And, uh, you know, the more you practice, the, the like, you just have to master one thing. Like, you just have to adopt this in, like, the, in the worst thing ever that happened to you. And if you really look at that thing and say, like, why this thing needed to happen to me? Like, if you just approach it with that, with that perspective, with that uh, uh, attitude towards that and say, why this thing needed to be... Uh, to, to manifest in my life. What is this thing teaching me? What is this thing showing me? Is this maybe, was this a turning point for me? So I'm not going this direction anymore, but I'm going that direction now, you know, uh, because really there are no mistakes. There are no bad things happen to us ever. Because if, if, if you've done something stupid and you learn from that and, or something bad happened to you and you learn from that, from that, is that a mistake? No, because as you learn, you progress, you know, and you can never go back to that victimhood, victimhood mentality, right? Because you know that everything happens in a, in a, in a certain uh, order. And, you know, especially when things are starting to, uh, especially when, when you always get the same thing, the same thing, the same thing. You know, if I were you, I would really look at that thing and say, okay, this, is, this keeps happening to me. Like, where is the problem? What is this showing to me? Teach me. Because the truth is, you know, once you master these things, the truth is that you don't have to learn from the bad experience any, any longer, especially where we are going now. But you, you can actually learn from the good things as well, you know. But if you're never le going to learn, if you're always going to be, be the same drum, then how are you going to progress? Then how are you going to heal? Then how are you going to let go? Then how are you going to... How are you going to uh, 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 heal that wounded child inside of you? Then how are you going to... How are you going to... Uh, Forgive your parents for your childhood. You know, everyone had a traumatic childhood, let me tell you that. Because just the fact that you came here from the spirit into this, into this biological machine and you got two unconscious parents, most likely, and, you know, everyone is teaching you whatever and then you just repeat, 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 and then you come to a to certain age and you say, oh my God, you know, is this all there is? And then you're chasing your own tail. But... You know, if you really use all the things that present to you, really, because, because what, that, that's what they are, they're presents for you. And there is literally no bad thing. And, uh, okay, let me give you my recent, recent um, example, you know. And I would not be here if I had not uh, mastered this over 20 years of my life. So, the opportunity that big as my father passing, you know, and I remember myself years ago, even just five years ago, you know, when, when that thought would come, I would just like, no, 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 I don't want to, you know, like that's, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to, um, considering consider that to even be an option you know but he passed away and it was like oh my god you know and after that initial uh, emotions of course and everything else everything fell into the place because i've been practicing this and through his death and this transition i was able to go on the next level i actually realized that i became a master I actually realized that I've mastered all of this and, you know, I do have emotions and everything, you know, but I, I use this and it didn't brought me down, but it lifted me higher because, you know, even that was so close to me, it's my father, my own father, but my only father, right, in, the, in this world, but I could see, I could see the higher perspective of all of it and it was... It was so amazing because this is exactly this perspective that I knew, you know, that, okay, we come here, we choose our own, 
our parents and uh you know we choose the lessons because you know we, we choose what we want to teach one another and so you know hopefully we're gonna you know because of this we're gonna turn left because of this we're gonna turn right you know we trust it in ourselves we, we put faith in ourselves that we would be able to find that way out because you don't have to be in this circle of death and life all the time and we are going out right now and and uh, hold on. just a second. So I could see this higher picture, you know, like all the things. You know, because when you work with God, when you when you work with Source, you only you need to allow God's source to guide you and you will learn through your own experience because you can only talk about the things that you have experienced, that you have mastered, that you know that are truth, not something that you read, something that someone else is true, truth. So you talking about uh, about something like you want to be walking with God, you want to be learning, you want to be progressing. So this thing that I that I knew, you know, like okay, I I you know because I had a hard childhood, you know, my father was definitely one of the one of the toughest teachers in my life, you know, and it was tough. And now I, now I can understand why. You know, before this, like I sort of knew. But with him passing, passing, I could see it even all more clearer. And I, those things that, 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 I, was, uh, that I was seeing, that I was knowing, that I was feeling like, yes, I choose them because of their biologics. I choose them because, you know, they would give me certain pressure, duality, uh, you know, restrictions and suppression because I was heavily suppressed and restricted, and, you know, from the uh, country I was living in, with the community I was living in, the, uh, f my own family, you know, uh, suppress, 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 you know, and that actually, uh, that actually uh, helped me burst this, burst this, you know, uh, 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 drive for life and justice and freedom, and, you know, I always kept searching and searching and searching and searching, and this is why I'm here today. You know, it, if it wasn't for that, I would probably, you know, just stay mediocre, but I gave myself a big time, you know, hard time, you know. And the thing is that all the, th all the people that are, that are in your life, that are players in your life, uh, you assign, like, it's always on, on mutual, mutual benefit. You always uh, work together like I'm going to, you know, my father was a teacher for me, but I was showing something else to him, you know, and... Uh, it was really uh, amazing, you know, to see how I was able to stabilize so quickly after him passing. That just happened in December. And, you know, uh, 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 the new gifts uh, came and like all the other things, you know, started to develop because of this uh, opportunity. You know, I was, I was, I was, I was... Um, I was uh, uh, doing the healings with my with my sound bowl, with my Egyptian bowl. I will do the video on that. But uh, I was healing him, and it was because I was so. It was so important to me to help him if ever possible. But his field was already so weak, you know. There was no saving him. But you know, through that, because I was so determined, you know, I, I started doing this more and more and the other things that started to be revealed to me and like now what I'm doing with, with my healings is just unbelievable and I love it because I got it directly and I see it's working and, you know, and it, and it wouldn't come, I wouldn't, I wouldn't become a master, I wouldn't master myself like fully and, you know, get aware of that, you know, because it was not like, I want to be master, I want to master, no. But, you know, I realized that through this experience, through this, um, such a 
amazing, profound experience, the, something that's so close to you that I was able to transmute it and to instantly see from the higher perspective, you know, why is this happening and uh, like, and what's the opportunity because I got on the next level, next level, next. So there, there was not uh, a place for me to being sad, to being uh, down, you know, because that's, that's the, that's the, that's the way of the old earth and you know, most people, they cry about because of themselves. You know, I haven't done this. I haven't done this. I haven't, you know, because they feel sorry. But I've healed. I managed to actually heal that relationship with him, even on my own here, you know. And I was fine. And this is why I, this experience was, you know, a, a big, big, uh, big jump in, jump up for me, you know. So... If I had not, if I had not uh, lost uh, 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 <laughs> a lot of money, for example, you know, would I be doing some other things? Probably not, you know. And uh, every single thing that I see in my life, like I wouldn't change for anything. It's just if I had to go over again and do all these things and it was hard, my friends, it was hard. And I, I, I was someone that could have all the excuses why I should never uh, grow, why I should never, uh, you know, be positive or this and that. You know, I had it all. But it's really all the opportunity. If I could go back, I would do exactly the same thing all over again because every single thing is an opportunity so that little thing that's in your life life right now and it's bugging you it's bothering you like yeah you know like and you are you are trying to push that away you know the more you're pushing the more it's persistent it's never gonna leave even if you even if you uh, get rid of that thing guess what the next one the same like it is going to come but if you use this opportunity Stay with me. If you use this opportunity, if you look like, what is this showing to me? What is this? Why is this in my life? You know, and then go inside and change that on the source, on the source, because you're not here to influence the, the external matter, you know, the already manifested matter, but you change it from inside and see, you know, why do I have money problem? Why do, why the, why does no one loves me, right? Because maybe you probably, or most, most hundred percent, you're not loving yourself, for example, right? So every single thing is opportunity. Please remember that, you know, and when you have this attitude towards, towards your, in your life, towards every opportunity, you know, and everyone gets exactly what they need, you know, and who is, who is orchestrating this? It's you. It's been all the time you, you know, they say you're going to go to the judgment day, whatever, you know, who is, who is going to judge you? It's going to be you because you're going to be the hardest judge ever. That's how it works, you know, everything in this universe is really, really, really simple, you know, and, uh, we are just, you know, missing this uh, right perspective to understand that you chose especially the main, main things. And for example, what I do, what I do, so, so what I always say, you know, get to your highest timeline possible because you have, <laughs> this is really amazing to understand. Like when I say I've been on the, on the two sides of the coin, on the two far ends, you know, and literally where I've been, I experienced the lowest of the lowest uh, timeline for me and now I'm on my highest of the highest timeline for me and you know what is really 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 interesting is because on the lower one are also are only are also uh, the, the same circumstances similar circumstances uh, people you know events na 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 like that was like your destiny for example but you just have on the highest timeline, you have the highest option. I don't know. Am I explaining this well? Um, so, so you're still going to go through through your your timeline. Like, and it's just like, are you gonna suffer here? You're gonna go to the certain certain circumstances that are most 
most likely set. But you can also go through this same experience from the uh, highest potential, from the from the best version, from the best version instead of the lowest version. So it's all the versions. All the versions are like, you know, all the things that happen, it happened here, but it happens here. And I been on this too. And I can tell you, it's much more interesting on the top. It's much more interesting here because you really have to, you get the best of all of it. You know, you, st you still can learn here. You can still learn here, you know, and some people and probably myself as well. I've been so many times, you know, until I got it. Ah, oh, you know, I can, I can do this. So your perspective your attitude towards life is what is going to determine everything you know the fastest you get that everything is literally opportunity and it's there for a reason it's teaching you something you know something that you cannot know something that you cannot even fathom right now but if you accept and if you start looking if you start asking the right questions my friends the right answers are going to show because, you know, that's opening the door for something else to come into your life. You know, like if I could be, I could be a victim and be very sad and, you know, uh, dry in my pain. But I use all of that and I went on the next level. And I'm now helping so many more people than I, than I used to, right? And it's just the beginning, just beginning for me. And uh, it was almost funny, you know, with the story with my father. It's like, you know... He needed to pass, and you know, like it's it's in a source that I, that I've got him in a in a in this in this spiritual realms, you know, and uh, the 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 people that are that gave <laughs> so people that uh, gave you transformational experiences are people from your soul family there is no accidents and there is absolutely no accidents in what what kind of the family you came you choose here to came to come your parents your uh, husbands your uh, wives your children like there is no accident at all, you know, and all this duality, all this push and pull is teaching you something. And once you, once you learn the lesson, the energy, you know, straightens up and you are good to go. So that was my seven stars. Uh, and this was my favorite topic about everything is opportunity. So take it and run with that and you will see how your life is going to change. I love you so much. Mwah.